Dear friends of the brand, a very warm welcome to the Los Angeles Auto Show. We would like to show you something very special today. This is the world premiere of the third generation CLS. As you might know, we were the first ones to introduce a new segment, which was the segment of the large four-door coupes. And we introduced this segment in 2003 with the first generation of the CLS. Today, we would like to show to you the third generation of the CLS. And this is a brand new car which comes with the latest technologies. So we took over the engines from the S-Class. Here you can see the CLS 400 diesel, a brand new inline diesel engine um, with six cylinders with an output of 250 kilowatts, 700 newton meters, a very, very dynamic and also attractive car. Let me point out a couple of highlights. For example, the multi-beam um, uh, uh, LED, multi LED headlamps, which come with an ultra-range high beam, which is basically a high beam that uh, reaches out to uh, up to 650 meters. In the interior, we also have a couple of highlights, like for example, the air outlets, which are now illuminated and they are part, they are standard on the CLS uh, within the ambient light package. In addition to this, we also took over the driving assistance packages from the S-Class and uh, it's not only about design, but it's also about technology. Let me now introduce to you our edition number one here on the CLS, which is our number one edition that comes with a lot of interesting features, with a lot of spec. but. To explain the design, there is nobody better than our head of exterior design, Robert Lesnick, who will take over that part and explain to you in detail the design philosophy of the CLS. Robert, it's you. So, well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, hello also from my side. Uh, welcome here in LA. Cool city, cool car. CLS definitely is a design icon and uh, what is new about this new generation, the third one? Let's start with the front end. First of all, very dominant Pan Americana grille, the shape that is uh, reserved only for the sportiest of our cars. In this case, uh, for edition one, we have a dark chrome, lamella, and of course, diamond grille. But I would say what is very new and what is uh, uh, probably the most important area of the front end, the face, are the eyes. The lights. In this case, we have a so-called predator face or predator look. It means the car uh, looks much more aggressive and sporty, and this is exactly what a coupe, a coupe needs. Uh, we have this here. Uh, we have in this case we have uh, MG line, and uh, of course bigger uh, side air intakes. We have very long and very low front end. Long bonnet, we have the best proportion that you can, or a designer can imagine or wish for. This means this uh, dash to axle distance is, is enormous, it's really cool, and definitely what uh, makes an S and a CLS a four door coupe is this very low greenhouse. This is exactly what we had since 2004. This is something that you can draw with one line. And this is very unique, uh, this proportion is unique and what is new compared with previous generation, there are absolutely no lines. This body side is completely clean, we have a pronounced shoulder, we have, a, we call it a cake coke bottle. Um, it means that uh, if you look at the car, if you see the car from the rear, it really tapers a lot. Then you get this round feeling and uh, definitely it's a Mercedes and it's a coupe, that means we moved, again in compared to previous generation, the number plate into the bumper. That means we have this very clean rear end and with very sharp lights, exactly like on the front. And this is what makes the car at the end really uh, full of contrast and very modern. And in the moment, nobody else is doing uh, very clean cars and uh, you know our philosophy to like it take a line off. Same goes definitely for interior.
Yeah, we have here a uh, beautiful interior. Craftsmanship, everything is there, but we have this uh, uh, new vents. They are even illuminated. Yeah, we have a double 12.3 inch uh, screen bonded into one, one glass. And uh, we have this, uh, this, this sweep that goes uh, seamlessly into the, into the door. And uh, definitely what is maybe a highlight, we have uh, EVC watch here that uh, of course goes with uh, edition one, but for first time in a non-AMG car. So at the end, the exterior and interior of course are together very progressive and uh, yeah, I hope you will like it when you see it on the street very soon and uh, yeah, stay tuned and goodbye from LA.